Hey guys, and welcome to Season 2 of The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. So in this season, we are going to be playing through the Fighters Guild. If you missed the last season, we had done the main storyline. You don't necessarily need to watch that to watch this one, but it might help if you want to know Corellian's story and whatnot. Before we get into this, I am going to go ahead and say real quick that I have made a lot of improvements to my Patreon. I know, self-promos, but apparently a lot of people don't know that I have one. It seems like usually anytime I mention anything about it, that people are like, oh, even know you had one. And I've had a couple of people ask me before, so I figured I might as well say now that I've put like a lot of effort into making it better. But yeah, there's new rewards including some special Discord stuff, and I've been working on setting some goals as well. We actually just hit our first one, which uh, I'm going to be opening up a P.O. box soon, so keep an ear out for that. And once I do open up the P.O. box, then I'm going to improve Patreon even more because I'll be able to actually send people things. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Summer's coming up. I live in Texas. It's expensive. So, annoying self-promos aside, let's go ahead and get back into this. So we are back right where we left off. Um, yeah, that's still floating. I don't know what's going on there, but okay. We're also kind of hurt. Something we do need to keep an ear out for is in a couple of weeks, we need to go get our Imperial Dragon Armor. I think it'll remind us. Hopefully it'll remind us. We shall see. But for now, I think what we're going to do is go to Anvil, because I love Anvil. Did we- did we ever buy our house? I don't think we did. No. I don't think I'd be carrying this much if we had a house. Uh, so yeah, hopefully sometime in this season we'll be able to actually buy Benarus Manor, because I want it so bad. It's my favorite house. But yeah, we are going to start in Anvil, just because I love it there, and... This just occurred to me. We get to do one of my favorite Fighters Guild quests. <gasps> Your horse is stabled outside the city gate. I forgot about Lady. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see Lady again. And look at the sky. Like, I'm just so happy to be doing this again. We should probably- Oh yeah, I forgot about my ring. I might take that off uh, unless if we need it. Just because it makes everything glow green. But yeah, I am going to wait until the morning because I know the guy we need to talk to likes to hide in his room. So hopefully he'll be out in the morning. We'll see. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take that ring off, but it will definitely come in handy. I know that uh, we struggle with the darkness sometimes. But okay, let's go ahead and go in. And there's the man we need to talk to, okay. What can I do for you? Looking for some work? If so, the Fighters Guild can always use able-bodied new members. I am indeed looking for work. Being the hero of Kovach surprisingly doesn't pay that well. Like, I got some armor out of it. I got some depression out of it over Martin. But beyond that, we really didn't make that much. So, yeah, let's join the Fighters Guild. The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use you. I, are you interested in joining? I can make no promises about that, but yeah, I, I am Fine. interested. You are now an associate in the Fighters Guild. For contracts, speak either with me or with Burzgro Kosh in Chadenhall. Good luck to you. Okay, well, we will go ahead and get a contract. <gasps> this is one of my favorite quests, can I just say? A contract for you? I think I've got something that suits your experience. Arvina Thillis has some problem with rats in her house. Yeah, it suits your experience. Oh, great hero of Kavach. Savior of Nern. Defeater, kinda, of Merun's Dagon. Boy, do I have a job for you and your experience. You're gonna deal with some rats. Yes, rats. <laughs> I'm sure she can explain it to you better than I. She lives here in Anvil. Go and talk to her. Good luck. We will do that. Okay. I'm go so excited. Let's go talk to Arvina. Y'all, I just love this game. Like, there's something about how dumb this game is. Like, even just hearing the music, especially this song, just because I've seen so many dumb things happen. Oh, let me in. But yeah, just because I've seen so many dumb things happen to this song, or the whole soundtrack, really, it just cracks me up. There's just a certain humor to this game that no other game has ever come close to. It's just a masterpiece, this game is the best game. Like, I, I know I say Morrowind is sometimes, it, it depends on the day, but uh, yeah, right now it's Oblivion, so. Okay, oh, right, I did also, this looks so unnatural on her just because oh I'm used to her God. other haircut, but um, 
I did get a hair mod. A lot of the elven hairs in this game are just... They're awful. I don't think... Yeah, Corellians is still the same. We don't have to worry about that. I mostly downloaded it just because I didn't want to have to see that god-awful mohawk anymore. Like, ugh. So we have been freed from the mohawk. But yeah, if you notice some weird hair, that's why. Ah, you must be from the Fighters Guild. Good, I have a problem. It has to do with the rats in my basement. Mm-hmm. Tell me about these rats. That's right. Rats in my basement, and something has been killing them. It's horrible. My I love this poor woman. babies. You must do something. <laughs> I love her so much. I don't know what I'd do without them. Like, if this ain't me, not with rats, but like guinea pigs, I just love rodents. Like, I can tails. relate. Get to the basement and find out what's happening. Yeah, of course. We will do that for you. Please save my little rats. Bless that woman. I would do anything for her. Okay, let's go see what it is. Obviously, I know what it is. I've done this many a times. It's a mountain lion. <laughs> that was a little too easy. Like, what level are we even? We're level 12, so... Yeah, we, we have some experience. This is probably a downgrade for Corellian, but at least he's getting paid for it. He wasn't really getting paid to be the hero of Kvatch, you know? Or the champion of Cyrodiil. I keep calling him the hero of Kvatch. Really, at this point, he's the champion of Cyrodiil. You know, same same thing. Okay, we found well, the problem. Well, what have you found? Did you take care of my babies? What was going on down there? Well, you see... It was a mountain lion. A mountain lion? In my basement? It's but more likely how? than you think. That's not possible, but it happened. What if there are more? What if it wasn't alone? Where there's one, there will be more. Find Pinarus and Ventius. He's a hunter and knows this area inside and out. He'll know what to do. All right, we will do that. But okay, I think I hear him shuffling around. Yep, what here he I is. Pinarus and Ventius, hunter, woodsman, and marksman at your service. Well, you see, good sir, I am looking to hunt some mountain lions. Mountain lions? Here? <laughs> Odd. If they're around, I can find them. Come with me. A hunt will do us good and maybe make that old nut feel better. That's a personal offense. Arvina has done nothing wrong. Let's go hunting. Now you see, this is... You see what I mean about the, the dumbness? Just the dumb charm of this game. But uh, yeah, this is where... Where are you going? Oh, I guess through the back door. But this is where things get a little slow in this quest because this man... He, he does not run to find the mountain lions. He, he walks. He walks. But this is also where uh, my knowledge of the game comes in handy because I know where these mountain lions are and I'm not waiting around for that slow little man. Like, we all know Corellian's speed is not great, but I can't, I can't deal with that. I can't. We are running out there ourselves. <gasps> I'm to see Lady. Oh my god, yes. Bring her to me. <gasps> yes! Here she comes. Hello! I've missed her. Oh, that's, that's from a mod. We don't want to deal with that. Leave me alone. I should probably uninstall that. Let's get on Lady. Why not? Oh, he actually made it out here. Okay. I still don't need to follow him, though. This game, at this point, is just, like, muscle memory to me. I just- I know where a lot of things are, you know? They're, they're just all chillin' right here, just straight chillin' in the middle of this grove of rocks. I don't know. <laughs> uh, they don't seem very concerned that I'm killing them. This feels wrong! <laughs> oh god, the blood. Why did they not attack me? I'll- I'll take it, but, uh, that was weird. Okay, let's head out, lady, and find Panaris, who hasn't even made it here yet. <laughs> uh, I think that'll be all of them. How would you and even know? More in this area. You can go tell Arvena this is all taken care of. It's Good. a good thing that they were all grouped together, even though I'm assuming mountain lions are like most cats. And that they don't, they don't tend to hang out in herds. They tend to like to be spread apart from one another, but... Thanks, Bethesda. Oh, wait, is that Squishy Face Man? 
No, his face is squishy, but not not sufficiently squishy. You're a disappointment to me, sir. Okay, let's go talk to Arvina again. Wait, is that him? Is that him? Good no, morning. no, definitely not. I'm just getting my hopes up. Though I do think I heard a dog. I don't, I don't know where a dog would be around here. I'm kind of intrigued and want to go look for the dog now, but I should probably talk to Arvina. I used to kidnap that lady and Coral's dogs. I would kill the lady and <laughs> use command animal on them all the way back to wherever I lived, which was usually Anvil. It was a pain, but I did it anyway for some reason. Anyways. You've got to take care of those mountain lions. I'm working on it, lady. What? You think you've gotten rid of them all? You do? Well, you haven't. There's one in my basement right now. Go get it. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's go take care of that one too. Oh. Oh, it's playing some dramatic music. Oh, it's attacking me this time. Came back for revenge. It's very important to me that all the rats are okay. I see, I see three, at least three, four. All right, yet yeah, there's your problem, lady. <laughs> maybe you wanna uh, patch that up, might help. Guess maybe she lets the rats come and go, I don't know. Inviting more in, perhaps? <laughs> Okay, Thank we've the done gods it. you kill that thing. This is ridiculous. Someone's out to get me, to get my poor babies. I'll bet it's that quill weave next door. Getting into some drama now. She's the one. She's never liked me or my sweet little pets. I know it's her. I've even seen her sneaking around in back of my house at night. She thinks she's so smart. She and all the other women. I'll show her. I want you to keep an eye on her. Find out what she's up to. Okay, man. I, I guess I will. All right, let's find Quill Weave. That's why is that hard for me to say? Quill Weave. Quill Weave. Okay. Think I got it sorted. Should I say something to her about it? Would that be too obvious? I don't remember what she says if you ask her. So I'm gonna do the it. The bards will be busy composing songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Hey, you know anything about some mountain lions? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of, but don't do it without any proof. I mean... I wasn't necessarily accusing you, but uh, yeah, let's just go to the back of Arvina's house. Just kind of hang out and wait for a little bit. Yeah, this is probably a good spot. Let's just wait a good 12 hours and see what happens. Okay. Okay, I've been detected. Yeah, I'm not that sneaky. She she sees me. Like, I'm just glowing. I'm actually just glowing in the moonlight. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just squatting in some aloe vera. Got a sunburn, you know? A nasty sun. I don't know what that was, but okay. <laughs> I've seen Quill Weave leaving meat outside Arvina's house. This must be what is attracting the mountain lions into town and into Arvina's basement. I should confront Quill Weave. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Yes. Hello. What can I do for you? Just casually, you know. I saw you outside Arvina's house. You what? Well, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. We're still outside I will of our never house. Go skulking about. We're, we're, we're right there. Fine, you've got me. <laughs> I figured if I left some rotten meat outside, the nasty little things would come out, and the guards would take care of them. I see. Well, you've been attracting some mountain lions, my friend. Mountain lions? In her basement? It's more likely I than you think. I just wanted to lure her vermin outside. I didn't mean to hurt anyone, except the rats. Please, don't tell her. I'm telling her. You're you're a nasty and woman. How you could you do that? If you can this our little secret, no. I can make it worth your while. No, I don't care about your acrobatics. I love rats. I've seen you. Like, Corellian knows how it is. Like, if he had a bunch of little bears in his basement, he wouldn't want someone killing him either. Oh, it's a good thing that was unlocked, because I just kind of walked in. Hello. So, did you follow her? She's behind it, isn't she? Tell me what you found out. Did you ever sleep? <laughs> Quill Weave was behind it. I knew it. That sweet. Oh, I'll get her. You just wait. Must have taken some fast talking to get her to confess. Kind of scared of what this is going to lead Maybe to. Maybe I can teach you a little there bit might more be a murder. about how to talk to people. And of course, I, I probably need that, honestly. Thank you. Okay. I like how she can teach me speechcraft. <laughs> okay. You too. 300 gold. Look at that. Already made a good percentage more than, you know, what we would usually make uh, out closing oblivion gates and whatnot. 
But let's go see if we can get another contract. Once again, might have to wait till the morning, but I think we should be able to do more around here before we have to head to Shaden Hall, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait. Good to see you. Oh, hi. Greetings. Here the we go. The thought of what might happen. You and Martin Okay, yep, yeah, no need to be dramatic. <laughs> you have any more contracts for me? I'll need someone who's at least an apprentice for this job. Maybe you're ready for advancement? Already? Oh. Maybe. You've done well so far. There we I go. I promote you that to wasn't apprentice. Hard. Good luck. Okay, well now what do you have? Looking for more work, eh? Good. Got a contract for you. I'd like you to go talk to Norbert Lels here in Anvil. Okay. Why so? He runs Lels quality merchandise here in Anvil. He's been having problems with break-ins though, and he's hired us to put a stop to it. Okay. Sounds simple enough. See, like, look at his majestic hair now. Oh! Oh my god! That's beautiful. I love that. Might, might have to let Corellian's hair grow out, I'm just saying. But let's go find this little man. How do you do? Hi! I just love the voices in this game, too. Everything about it just makes me so happy. Except for Oblivion Gates. I don't like the main storyline too much, to be honest. Welcome! <gasps> Oh, you got a new haircut too. It's, um, you're looking a little Trumpy. <laughs> In fact, your face isn't, as I remember. Do I have a face mod? Because used to his eyes were like really pinched together and it used to crack me up. But I don't think this okay. is the same man. Uh, hello, yes. He probably is confused because I am just like <laughs> staring up at him a little bit too closely, you know, but that's how it be in this game. Oh, come back. Yeah, let's see what you need. Greetings. Welcome to Lel's Quality He looks like an emo kid We have a Trump. wide range of goods to suit your needs. Hey. <laughs> oh, and perhaps you saw the okay. sign Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, the presidency has apparently hit him hard. Okay, yeah. Um, what? Tell me about the break-in. I've lost a great deal of merchandise over the last few months. Not a huge fan of this I hair. I keep replacing it, but they keep stealing it. New locks on the doors be damned. They always come at night after I've gone to bed. Maybe a mage transports them inside. You can just stay in the shop overnight. Good luck. All right, I'm. I'm, I'm going might to wait steal at the floor and bowl until this mess is settled. No promise. I know I can trust you to keep the place safe. Yeah, trust me, some random guy that just joined the Fighters Guild and just strolled you up too. to you. All right, I guess we will just have a little seat then. Um, he gave us the place all night, and it's 9 a.m. So. We got some waiting to do, my friends. Okay, oh, oh, I see people. Hello! Oh, y'all are very sneaky. Oh god, hi. We're, we're fighting, we're fighting. Could, could you move, ghost? I don't want to deal with a ghost. Please die. Oh. Are you sure about that? Because you're down. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, they suck. I do like their armor, though. Their armor is very pretty. I've always liked Mithril quite a lot. But we are kind of a heavy armor guy, and we are about to get new armor, and I can only carry three more pounds, so I probably shouldn't take the pretty armor. What are you doing, sword? Okay. Yeah, let's go find Norbert. Mr. Edgelord Trump should be just next door. Were you able to take care of my problem with break-ins? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, we sorted it. You've gotten them? Wonderful. But their okay, names are familiar names. to me. All of those men have worked for me. Amazing. I even trusted them to open up the shop in the mornings. I can't imagine what turned them to a life of crime. Sad. Well, here's your payment. Yeah, well, they're dead now, you know. For burgl- For burglary? Burglary, I can't say that. Obviously, they just had that one coming, huh? Man, I just keep looking at all the guards. Excuse None of them are squishy-faced, man. They just look like wrinkly yams. Like, I have a yam on the counter that just looks straight up like that. Now, we may need to go to Shaden Hall now. Not really sure. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we probably need Greetings. to wait again. Dang oh, no, he's here. You he's here. You are the toast of Anvil, my friend. I don't want to be toast. Do you have any more contracts? I don't have anything for anyone. Yeah, okay, we need to go to Shaden Hall. Go hurt something. Sure. <laughs> I feel like we have time for one more quest today. Oh, I love Shaden Hall too. It's so pretty. Like I'm, I've always been torn also on if I like Anvil or Shaden Hall better. I think I like Anvil a little more. I like the architecture of Shaden Hall more. 
Like, it is prettier. Just something about Anvil. Like, I don't know. I think it's just the nostalgia. But this is definitely a close second. Hello. You're here looking for work, meat? Maybe yeah, I think I have a, a face mod. I forgot I had a face mod. Okay. You are looking so round. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you have work for me. I suppose I've got something for you. We need a weapons shipment delivered to desolate mine. Can't take this man seriously. Job. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Goodbye. Move your ass, boot. Can't say that on television. Oh, can I even carry all that? I guess I can. I don't know how, but okay. Oh, and look at that funky wizard. Oh yeah, I may... Yeah, we'll, we'll fast travel here and just walk the rest of the way. Yeah, usually whenever I am doing the Fighter's Guild, I'm level one, so I don't really have anything on the map, but now I do. Oh, oh, we gotta look at it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's a sight to behold right there. Right, Oblivion Gates. I'm gonna ignore that. It's closed, so it doesn't matter. But there might still be some Daedra lurking around it. And I'm kind of tired of dealing with Daedra, honestly. I'd rather, you know, deal with these goblins. Though, I actually- I hate this quest. I hate this quest a lot. <laughs> uh, just stop slapping me. I don't even have a weapon. I'm not that good. You have a weapon, though. Not anymore. Okay, let's go in. But yeah, this quest sucks. Like, it, it's not the worst thing in the world, but uh, if you hit one of them... It, it's a mess. Okay. You must be the reinforcement from the guild. Good. I hope you brought weapons for us. That I did. Here they are. We've made it. And just in time. We've got trouble with goblins here. I'll take the bow. You give the weapons to my other two men. Okay. Be seeing you. You're the one with the weapons shipment, right? Let's talk about that. Yeah, we will. Good. I need a weapon. I'm looking forward to bashing some skulls in. You see, now here's... Here's my problem. I do like giving them the opposite because it's fun to watch their hopes die. But also that's probably why I struggle with this quest sometimes. <laughs> and that they end up getting themselves killed. So, I'll give you a hammer. A hammer? Yeah. Excellent. Good for bashing in puny goblin skulls. It, it is it is fun to do it the other way okay. around, but probably ah, smarter this you've way. You've got the weapons. Let's talk about that weapons shipment you brought. Yep, yep, here Excellent. you go. I long to sink mm -hmm. a blade into- We, we have a blade a for blade. you. A blade, fantastic. Let us take the fight to these vile creatures. Okay, now I'm going to try to run ahead of I'm them. Waiting. Because they really suck at fighting. And um, yeah, I don't want to hit them. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna put my ring back on. That'll help me not hit them. Okay, let's go. Oh, they're so fast. I forgot how slow Corellian was. That one's invisible. Well, I'm gonna try to keep them all alive. Don't know if that's gonna happen, but uh, I'll do my best. Okay, let's, let's, let's hit this one. I don't know what's going on in, with the ground in here, but okay. Oh, I, I thought one of them had died already. We're, we're fine, we're fine. I'm so scared I'm gonna hit one of them. I'm gonna quick save, because I, I don't trust these idiots. I don't know what you're doing to that goblin, but I'm gonna keep going. Is there another one in here? I should probably, should probably do that. They will die otherwise. Okay, okay, there we go. Take me to the other goblins. They're all still alive so far. I don't know if it's gonna stay that way. Honestly, I wish I could just tell them to wait. And I don't like that you're invisible. Could you stop? I'm gonna hit you. Or he's chameleon, not invisible. It's the same difference. Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna hit him. Like, that's- that's not a good idea. Honestly, at this point, you deserve it. <laughs> like, the goblins see you. The dwarven curse in here in this crappy little cave. That's weird. Are we done? Let's clear the no, we're not done. Okay. Ready for action. Where's the rest? Are, are... We've got to clear out all- No, no? Okay. Where are you going, then? I guess this way! Alright! They don't even know where they're going. I, I kind of lost her. I hope she's this way. <laughs> nope. Nope. This is a storage room. Okay. I'll take that then. Oh, oh. Okay. They're this way. Probably out here dying, honestly. But we can hope. He was running into a pillar that whole time, so my hopes are not high. Oh god, the logs are going to kill them. 
They are going to trip on the logs and die. Please don't come this way, friends. Please. Okay, Savage Goblin, a fancy one. All right. Please just die so we can be over with this. Get out of my way, guy. All right, are we done now? Are we done? All right. Well, they're all taken care of now. Don't think anyone died. We actually did it that time. Usually at least one person dies. I prefer if they don't. Because then, then I get yelled at for it. And I, don't, I don't like getting yelled at. Where did I come from? Hello. Oh, God. You're so tall. Are you called Oh Timber? Because if you fall, that's what they scream. Oh, God. I forgot how round you were. Haven't you taken care of that weapon ship? Yes, I did. You got the weapons there and cleared the mine with no casualties. Better than I expected God, from you. Too. Here's your reward and a little bonus. Very good. Okay. 300 gold? Is that it? Bye. What's the bonus? Maybe some other gold. I don't know. See, we're already over halfway now to getting Venerous Manor, so that's good. Corellian, like, God, that, that looks so creepy. Your head should never be angled that way. <laughs> he looks, he looks possessed. But yeah, guys, that is where I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode. If you enjoyed it and are excited for the season, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.